So here are my thoughts on the American Idol judges that we have, what I'm expecting from them. So let's start with Katy Perry. Katy Perry is known for having an emotional connection, a spiritual connection, dare I say, to contestants. Mama Katy is a nickname that she has gotten from different contestants. I've personally heard stories of contestants, from contestants, having really meaningful conversations with Katie where she really speaks to the heart and registers there. I've heard great stories about all three judges, but especially Katie on that heart-to-heart -heart connection with different contestants on an emotional level. And I think, speculation, like everything is here, I think there's that mother that comes out. You know, when, when women become mothers, there's a lot that changes, so I hear, and maybe so I observe with her. Um, I don't want her to scream at contestants this year while they're singing in auditions. I really hope that doesn't happen. Sometimes, per the depending on the contestant, it can work, but overall, I'm not a fan of that. Lionel Richie. Lionel can have some incredibly powerful moments where you feel like, oh, this is a wise mage, because he is. Incredibly wise, incredibly experienced. He's been in the business for a very long time. Very successful, very talented. But sometimes he gets a little bit into the play for camera style stuff. Things he says. Just like, oh, oh, wow, oh, what is this? Oh my. And you can tell he's adding a little bit for the camera. Which, that's kind of the job. I think they all do that, but his... They're great and they're bad. They're bad because they're bad. They're great because they're funny. I hope that he just settles in to his role and know, I hope he knows that what he brings to the table on the wisdom level of things is so much more valuable in his authenticity than his like, oh, wow, oh my, God. wow. Oh, look at the, oh, would you, Katie? Katie, would you look at, like, we don't need that. I'll speak for myself, I don't need that. Lastly, we have Luke Bryan. I'm a big fan of Luke Bryan as a judge. He He's also getting connected emotionally to a lot of these contestants and you can tell that this is not just a job for him, for any of these judges. And I remember somebody lost someone, oh, I think it was Ian, when he's talking about losing his dad recently. And I say recently, compared to his audition. He had lost his dad like super close to his audition. And you could see Luke, not just emotional, but connecting with that loss and the tragedy. And I think he was really close to some similar tragedy uh, in his like recent history as well. And he was connecting there. He does get a little generic for me, he know uh, in his critique, he knows uh, how to talk to country singers really well, and he can tell you what he liked about your voice if you're not a country singer. But I don't remember there being a lot of musical golden nuggets from him, unless it was for a country singer. I would love to see him get into more technical stuff because he's a good singer. One time I heard, I, I'm i not a personal fan of his music and when he sings his music, he sings differently than when he sings otherwise. And I know that because, or I remember this one instance where it was some award show and he was singing with like four other singers that are all like great singers. He was singing some tribute to like Michael Jackson or Stevie Wonder or um, some like R&B singer like back in the day. And I'm thinking, what is this guy doing on here? Like on this lineup singing, what is he going to do trying to sing one of these R&B singer songs from the 70s? And he crushed it. I was like, oh my gosh, I love all of this. All of it. He sounded wonderful. So I know he's got versatility more than what we see in the come on girl get in the pickup truck on the dirt road like more than that country 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 stuff
which is fine. It's respectable and it's his own thing. And obviously he's doing very well on it, but I know he's got more in him. I would love to hear that on the critique level. Idol Breakdown is coming once again for another season. We're going to be premiering February 19th, the day after the American Idol premiere, of course. And we're going to have videos breaking stuff down every single night after the American Idol show to tune in. Buckle up. We're in for another.